There is a new Middle East in the making. Warming ties between Israel and Arab Gulf states have become more obvious over recent months. But what has prompted this change? Since 2011, with countries like Syria, Libya and Yemen becoming failed states, others like Egypt and Tunisia struggling with their security. The more stable Gulf monarchies are taking the reins of the Arab world. It won't be simple, but for the first time in many years, and Mr. President, for the first time in my lifetime, I see a real hope for change. The Arab leaders who you met yesterday could help change the atmosphere, and they could help create the conditions for a realistic peace. With the help of U.S. President Donald Trump, both Israel and the Gulf states are inching closer to creating a new pact, a pact that a few years ago was unthinkable. The driving force seems to be a shared concern over the Iranian threat, which is supporting rivals across the region, like the Lebanese Hezbollah, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and Hamas. But it's not all about Iran. Gulf states see Israel as an economic partner. Well-known Emirati businessman Khalaf al-Habtour said if peace achieved between Arabs and Israel, Israel will reap the benefits and in investments from the GCC and other Arab countries to boost Israel's economy, translating to new business opportunities. But with Iran's rapidly rising influence in the region, there is more pressure on this new alliance in the making to be delivered, uniting former foes to change the Middle East political landscape. Hamad al-Qasim, I-24 News.